Hey guys, it's Tiffany um, at HopeJoyInChrist.com and I just wanted to come in and say hi. Happy Freedom Friday. So usually on Friday I come to you and we pray together through an area that's um, dealing specifically with our nation. Um, today I just want to take that in a different direction. So um, usually it's pretty general to pretty broad about things. Specifically on my heart right now are the marriages in our lives. Um, so if you want to hang out with me for the next five or ten minutes and you're not married, that's not something in your life, I'd love to have you, but know that's kind of where my heart is right now. Um, I'm married. I'm married to a wonderful man. We've been together more than a decade and have two beautiful children. Um, he is my second husband. So I can tell you how hard marriage is. It, it just, it has amazing, wonderful days, weeks, years sometimes. And then there are seasons where it is hard. We rub against each other the wrong way. We have conflict or disagreement or personality things. Um, or just life gets hard and the pressure and the stress and the demands of that burden begins to take a toll on our marriage. Um, and I don't know what season you're in. Do you know we go through amazing seasons where everything's great and we're up on this mountain and everything's fantastic. We also go through seasons where it's just okay and we're just getting through every day and no big deal, nothing, you know. Uh, it's easy to kind of take it for granted. And then we go through seasons where, like, how are we ever going to make it through this? Still married. Um, so can you relate? You know what I'm saying? Um, my heart really is geared toward encouraging and equipping women through biblical discipleship. That is where I'm, I'm just passionate about that, specifically in the area of our wifehood. And when I say that word, what I'm saying is, as wives, we are called to walk and to function through life a little different than we are as mothers or we are as sisters or daughters or friends or, you know, whatever. Um, so I kind of, in my mind, I just need to put things into categories. Are you like that? You know, where I need to categorize this is what I'm doing and this is how I do that. And, you know, so that's kind of my, my term. It's not my term. I promise you I heard it somewhere. I am not that creative. Um, but I just call it the biblical wifehood, right? We're trying to do this wife thing God's way, not the culture's way. It's easy to get swayed into that, but God's way, because God's way is different. So as I'm thinking through that, I'm looking at the marriages in our lives, like even, y'all, even at church, I feel like it's okay to have problems in every area except your marriage. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just expect that you're a Christian, and you're married, and so of course your Christian marriage is perfect. How's everything going? You're not going to tell them you were just fighting with your husband in the parking lot, yelling at the kids. Do you know what I mean? Like we have that mask, if you will. Um, and so I feel like we need to come around each other as a community in this wifehood role and encourage each other and be real with each other. Where are you in your marriage? How is it going? Is it okay? Is it great? Are you getting ready to file for divorce? Do you know how many women I meet and interact with daily? And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, everything was fine last Sunday, the Sunday before, and then the next Sunday, they're getting divorced. You know what? That did not happen overnight. Why are we not, as a community, coming alongside each other and walking out daily life? Do you know if we would be real with each other when we first started having that problem and find some godly girlfriends to say, I'm losing my mind. This man is driving me crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you know what? Months before, a year before you ever got to that word divorce, maybe in a community of wives like that, you would never get to that word divorce because we'd be coming alongside each other, building each other up, encouraging each other, equipping each other in our faith to walk beside each other and not carry that burden alone. Y'all just make it I'm mean, exhausted just thinking about it. My neck hurts. <sighs> just okay. So that's kind of my heart is to partner with women and just 
walk alongside each other. I'm not going to come to you and point a finger and be like, I can't believe that you talk to your man that way. I can't believe you're having this problem in your marriage. I'm going to be like, girl, let's pray together. What can I do? Let's, you know, are you in the word? Let's do that together. How can I love on you? How can I help you? Um, and this is the scripture for it. Okay. So if you've ever been to my site, hopejoyinchrist.com, it's on my header image, the, the cord of rope. If you're ever like, that's really weird. Why does she have rope on her website? This is why. So it comes from Ecclesiastes chapter four, verses nine and 10. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. <coughs> Excuse me. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion, but woe to him who's alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him. I believe that we are called to live this Christian life, this life of biblical discipleship together so that if somebody falls or messes up or we're having a hard time, you know, I can just reach down or you can just reach down and help me back up. So I want to pray over that for our nation. Okay, I want to pray for our marriages. I want to pray for our wives, right? Because I'm a wife. I can relate to that. I don't understand all the husband stuff because I'm not a dude. I can't speak to what his role is and what he should be doing. Some, you know, I mean, I'm married. I live with a man and he's pretty awesome. I can see what he does. And But but my heart is for just wives and for women. So I want to pray that we would become community-minded in the wifehood, thinking about how to support and encourage and lift each other up if we fall down. Now, it doesn't say we're going to, you know, spend eternity in hell because we fell down. It says our sisters should be coming alongside to pick us back up and help us. Let's get into that kind of community. And as, you know, we get to that place, I believe we'll see authentic discipleship begin to just read out organically in our culture, and I'm sorry, hold on, I'm hearing a mama. Amber, what do you need? Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to finish this, okay? Then I'll help you. All right, so let me pray. I'm just going to pray over our marriages, over our wifehood, over our nation. Will you pray with me? Father, I just thank you so much for the community of the body of Christ that, that you blessed me with that I have safe places and safe people to be real with, God. And I pray for that across our nation, that we would begin to be real about where we are in our marriage, about where we are in our home life, about where we are just in our discipleship walk, so that we can be living in community, like you say in Ecclesiastes, so that when we fall down, we are not quick to judge each other and get mad with each other and just push each other out of the church, but that we would be quick to come alongside and offer to help pick each other up. God, I pray that we would begin to be the body that way, that you would restore our marriages, that you would bring our homes back to a place where we are a godly example to a lost world. God, your word talks about how our marriage is a picture of our relationship with you, how you are the husband and we are the bride. And when the world looks at godly Christian marriages, they're looking at what should be an example of how you love us. God, I pray we would get back to that, that we would have a fire just burn in us to think kingdom-oriented thoughts. God, to be winning this lost world back to you. Father, I just thank you and I praise you in advance for all you're doing and have done. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me and praying. Hey, I want to tell you about one more thing before you go. Um, I have opened up on Facebook. Now, I know I have some Facebook people and I have some I hate Facebook people. Um, and, and that's cool. So I've got two things going on. In the month of September, there is going to be launching a community, a group page for wives. And I opened it last week and we're already at almost 400 members it's so crazy it's blowing my mind how many women god is bringing in and how they're just already interacting with each other and getting to know each other and i'm hoping to make it a safe place where we can just come together and talk about the real things of marriage where we can um, guide you and help give some good biblical resources to strengthen your marriage all through the month of september on that facebook page and on my blog there is a biblical marriage wifehood page you'll see it right on the front you go to hopejoinchrist.com you can't miss it and you're gonna look at it and be like oh there's that wife word again so just click it and you will meet 
30 amazing godly women in women's ministry. They're going to be sharing their marriage advice, the tips, the resources that have helped them grow their marriage and to help them as they minister to other women. And we're also going to have, I'm so excited, I think we're at a 15 or so sponsors who are donating books and e-courses and magazines and all of these really awesome resources that are going to be helpful. You can enter to win any one of them that will bless you and your wifehood and in your marriage. If you're not married and you stuck around with me through this whole video, bless your heart. If you know, of course you do, a wife, a godly wife, a Christian wife who just might need the encouragement and the support, I think we all could, send her to the page. You can RSVP to the party, which will get you all of the stuff right to your email. Um, and it's just going to be a fun month in September. We've already started. We're talking about the love languages and how to love our husband and all of those things. It's going to be just lots and lots and lots of fun. So come join us. Check it out. And you probably won't see me in September. I'm going to be all absorbed in that. I'll probably catch you in a month. And we'll get back to praying for our nation for Freedom Friday. Y'all be blessed. And I'll talk to you later.